Now let's uh, look at an instance where we will uh, try to find out the variance as well as covariance and the correlations with respect to uh, a standard Brownian uh, motion at times s and t. Now let's say my requirement is uh, find the variance of bs plus bt means that uh, the value of the process at time s and the value of the process at time t. So, uh, we, we, we can split the variance of x plus y we know is nothing but variance of x plus variance of y plus 2 times the covariance of x comma y. Same logic if I am applying here, it becomes variance of bs plus variance of bt plus 2 times the covariance between bs and bt. Now we have seen earlier that variance of bs for our bs follows a normal distribution with uh, mean 0 and variance s. So variance of bs is going to be s. Similarly, this is going to follow a normal distribution with a mean 0 and variance equal to t. So I am writing it uh, the variance of this as t. And we have seen here uh, the covariance is uh, the minimum of S and T. We have seen it in one of our uh, theories lectures that the, the covariance is going to be the minimum between S and T. So assuming that S is arriving at a much uh, earlier time compared to T, I'll write it as 2S. So the variance of BS plus BT is going to become 3S plus T. Or in general, we are talking about uh, S plus T plus twice the minimum of S comma T. This is what is uh, the way we can look at the variance. The other way, the same logic, probably if I am talking about variance of BS plus BT, I could have looked at it in a slightly different way. I will write BS as BS minus B0 and BT as BT minus BS plus BS. This I could write and uh, this uh, BS again. So th th this is what uh, is coming out. This is coming out as BT minus B0. This is coming out as uh, BT minus BS and there is one BS coming off. And probably this BS also could get uh, written as BS minus B0. So this is coming out as variance of BS minus B0 plus bt minus bs plus bs minus b0 again. Okay. So this is actually uh, becoming, uh, I could, uh, I could uh, very well uh, take these uh, things out. Now this is the variance of bs minus b0 variance of bt minus uh, bs right variance of bt minus bs and uh, uh, bs minus b0 again now this could very well be written as If I am uh, looking at these numbers, okay, I could now expand the stuff. I could now expand the stuff. What is the variance of BS minus B0? It is going to be uh, S. Or I should uh, write this as variance of twice BS minus B0 plus 
बी टी माइनस बी एस so variance of because now these two are independent stuff so i could very well uh, take it forward as uh, expanded uh, this becomes four times the variance of bs minus b0 plus variance of bt minus bs now the covariance and all does not exist because they are independent so uh, four times what is the variance of bs minus b0 which is s because this follows a normal distribution of 0 comma s and this follows a normal distribution of 0 comma t minus s so this becomes t minus s overall working out to 3s plus t whatever is the mechanism we are using for solving these kind of uh, situations but what we have to be very clear of is whenever we are talking of summation of two brownian motion the variance is going to be in terms of 3s plus t or probably s plus t plus minimum of the s and twice the minimum of s and t that's uh, one important relationship that we need to be uh, comfortable with and now if at all i want to find the covariance we know that the covariance uh, between bs and bt if i want it is nothing but expectation of bs bt minus expectation of bs multiplied by expectation of bt now if i want to find expectation of bs bt i would find bs and uh, multiply it with uh, and bt i will write it as bt minus uh, bs plus bs same logic so it becomes expected value of bs times bt minus bs plus expect uh, plus uh, bs square now if i am exp expanding these separately expected value of bs times bt minus bs this is going to be zero plus expected value of bs square now this part is zero because bs times uh, bt minus bs the expected value of these two are independent and expected value of bt minus bs is following a normal distribution with a mean zero so this multiplication is becoming a zero plus expectation of bs squared expectation of x squared is nothing but variance of x plus expectation of x squared so variance of uh, bs variance of bs is s plus expected value of bs is zero so overall coming out to be s itself so covariance is coming out in terms of s because the uh, covariance comes out to expected value of bs bt minus expected value of bs multiplied by expected value of bt these two are zeros because they are fall there bs follows a normal distribution with a mean of 0 and variance of s this follows a normal distribution with a mean of 0 and variance of t so the expected values are the means s minus 0 times 0 working out to s itself so on the other side when i am going ahead with correlation which actually works out as the covariance divided by the standard deviations of each one separately standard deviation of bs standard deviation of bt the covariance between bs and bt now we found that as s and you are dividing it by the standard deviation of bs which is square root of s standard deviation of bt which is square root of t which is going out to square root of s by t so the correlation is uh, the standard deviation of s by t or otherwise we write it as minimum of minimum of uh, bs uh, minimum of s comma t divided by the maximum of s comma t is what is working out as the the correlation that is existing between these processes 
So, we should be able to uh, find out the variance, the covariance, the correlation uh, uh, for a Brownian, standard Brownian motion at uh, uh, when we are observing the values at two different points in time. Right?